I was gonna say Capricorn, I just did Capricorn. You may be dealing with a Capricorn, you don't gotta be. What's up, Cancer? How you doing? You don't gotta be dealing with a Capricorn, but because I just did Capricorn. Song that's coming to an end is good drink. Alright. So look, the time of ecstasy may be coming to an end in your life. You feel me? Time it's like shit was good for a while. And now it's like, you know what? Let me let me stop sipping on this drink. Let me stop fucking up. Fucking with these emotions, you feel me? Let me stop letting myself get controlled by this certain feeling or these certain emotions. Let me stop reacting to these certain emotions or these certain feelings or these certain people. You feel me? A time in your life is coming to an end and you're speeding it up a little bit. All right, whether you need to speed it up, all right, the wheel done turned regarding something, the horn is blown and you need to make a decision or you made a decision. Now, somebody may feel stuck because of the decision, the decision you're making. All right, but you realize you got to pick up pick up the pace in regards to something. You got to speed something up in order to get something happen, in order to make something manifest or bring something into this reality. You want to bring, you want to invest into something or emotionally you are no longer making investments even though you're in love with something. You feel me? You got an idea, you fell in love, and now it's like you're pulling back as to regards to what you give your feelings to or what you emotionally invest in because you know the truth about something now. And now you want to take control of the situation. Or you took control of your life and you are expressing yourself, period. About to find out, though. Oh, somebody may be expressing themselves to you. Or you're expressing yourself. One more bougie shuffle. Flip, what you got going on, Cancer? I ain't gonna take them. I'm gonna show them to you, though. All right, you may not, you may no longer be making it, 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 <laughs> expressing yourself in regards to negative passions or people. You felt you realized something was not something you should fall in love with. Something was not gonna have you projecting yourself in the way you wanted to be projected in regarding your passions. And so he was like, he was like, hold up, let me not express myself towards this. Let me go in a new direction in regards to the things I want to invest myself. You may have ended a celebratory situation. Look, because something was bad for you. You see me? You see this? You see me, right? You see me? Right here? What's up? Something was bad for you. In regarding, but you, and once upon a time, you may have been celebrating something that wasn't worth celebrating, but now you're no longer celebrating those emotions and or people and or friendship, friend groups, partnerships, whatever it is for you, you feel me? Whatever you were celebrating. You were harboring feelings towards something once upon a time. Now, look, you may not be in the space of expressing what you are. Invested in. I was going to say religiously participating in. It doesn't have to be a religion, but it can be a religion. It's like you were preaching something one time, but you may not be. It's like you were all about something one, once upon a time, but you may not feel that same way regarding whatever that is anymore because it ended. Regarding your feelings, regarding how you feel about that topic. You feel me? It's like you don't want to go go hard. Look, you had to let some go. I'm telling you, and you letting something go made you pull back as to regards to how you express yourself when it when it comes to that topic. Once upon a time, you were talking all about it. You ain't talking all about it no more because you let it go. You realize when you looked at the bigger picture, you realize some it wasn't for you. Whether it was a group of people or just a group of feelings of how you felt about yourself and the things you involved yourself with. You realize some of your emotional investments weren't really something you should be kicking it with. So you let it go, but now, and now that you let it go, you're pulled back. You you took a step back because now you, you're putting yourself to go in a new direction, though. But uh, all night long, this is song that's playing for you. So it's like you're putting yourself in, an, in the space to go in a new direction. Because you let something go, though. You feel me? Or this is just how you feel now. You took a step back, you released, you released something and you took a step back 
it's like, you know, in order to, you got to draw the bow back before you let it go. And now I'm telling you, you yeah, you, you let you let it go. Now it's about to let go or you're about to let go. And you're about to go towards something passionately because you want to go in a new direction or you're ready to go in a new direction. You feel free in regards to whatever you just separated yourself from. Look, I'm telling you. Son, whether you got an idea and you feel like that idea will bring abundance to you, so you're ready to jump on it. Yeah, you just came out of an unhappy time. You've been in an unhappy space. It's like you you hit the bottom before you bounce back up. You feel me? And now it's you like okay. You was once upon a time you may have been controlling and or just been invested in something that was controlling and or toxic. You feel me? But now you you over that. You we over this. You see, you let something go that wasn't true to you. You feel me? In order to put yourself in the space of what? Going in a new direction. In regards to the things that actually makes you feel abundant. Whether it's ideas or mentalities. It's the feminine energy. You feel abundant internally regarding a topic. You feel like this business. Once you think about starting this business, you get so many other ideas. So many other mentalities once you think about that. So it's like now you're ready to do that because you made space for it. You don't have to let me know though. Yeah, look, you ready to express your truth regarding something or you ready to express the truth regarding something. Once, once upon a time, you may have been lying to yourself. Oh, excuse me. But now you're done accepting the immature emotions and or feelings from yourself and others outside of you. And that's putting you in the space to put yourself in the, to putting you in the space of going in a new direction. Look, you healed your heart. You had to let go of something, though. Let go of something you were preaching. You feel me? Because it wasn't true to who you were. Look. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups in reverse. How you feel emotionally, you may be a little disconnected from your feelings. I'm gonna be honest with you. Because of whatever you let go of, though, you see? It lines up. Whatever you let go of puts you in a state to be disconnected from your feelings. So yes, you're disconnected, but you're still expressing whatever you feel abundant about. You're expressing your truth and putting yourself in the space to experience a new experience or open a new door because something, because you see something as abundant. Type shit. You know what I mean? It's, that, it's just that type of shit. You've been through it. So yeah, you may, you just disconnected from your feelings. Your feelings may not, look, because of what? A poor investment. One poor investment Disconnected you from your feelings. You internalized something. You nurtured the wrong thing. Watered the wrong plant. And when it grew, you realize, okay, hold up. Let me let me go ahead and pull this by the root. You had to let it go, willingly or forcefully. And it's like something you were preaching about. Something you were shouting. You were telling all your family, all your friends. You feel me? You told everybody about this. But. You let it go, yes. You're in the space to, you're, it's like you got a key to open a new door. You're in the space to go through a new door of abundance. You see this door as abundance, so you're going through it. You see something makes you feel abundant, whether you gain a lot of ideas or just a lot of mentalities and feelings from something from the external realm. What, so whether it's internal or external, it's all up to you. But you're ready to communicate truth to that, even though you feel disconnected from your emotions. You feel me? You been through something. See, look. Over time, you're going to be all right, though. It's like you're still going. You're not going to let something stop you. You're still going, even though you got a little... It's like you wounded a little bit, all right? You've been, you been through battle. You got, you got a couple scars. They, they still a little fresh, but you're still expressing. You're still pursuing and or doing. You feel me? Because you got a new perspective. Got some enlightenment. 
Enlightenment done put you in a place to bring yourself out of a cold mental spot or just a cold spot in life. The drawback before the release. You feel me? I'm going to fuck with you.